What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some brand new WWE Mattel action figure news for you guys, and it is news on a brand new WWE Elite figure line. Yes, this was tweeted out by WWE. It was tweeted out by some employees over at Mattel, who obviously makes the WWE figures that we love so much. And this was tweeted out yesterday. You guys will see it on your screen here. It says, new WWE fan takeover Elite line coming in 2021, where you the the fans get to choose the gear on each figure. Now, this is actually some pretty epic ass news because I think that's so cool. I think that's really sick that they're gonna, you know, this is a, it's sort of like a taboo Tuesday, Cyber Sunday shit going down right now with this elite line right here where us, the fans, will vote on the attire that we want to get. You know, I think that's pretty epic because you guys know that sometimes in the past we've gotten figures you know, that uh, we're like, why the hell we get that attire? Or why didn't we get this attire? This attire would have been much better. So, I think this is pretty cool of Mattel to do and you guys will notice that they do have some pictures of Seth Rollins right here so the first little thing that they gave us is vote now which version of Seth Rollins will Mattel include in its fan takeover line you guys can see there on the left it does feature Wrestlemania 35 Seth where he took on Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship and did end up winning that so I guess if we got that it would be the you know the the attire with the vest and the Universal Championship in the middle there we do have Survivor Series 2019 in the Chicago Bulls inspired attire which I actually got a couple custom of yesterday. If you guys want to go check out that video, you can go check that out. I did get a custom of that figure. And then we have SummerSlam 2018, which is the Thanos attire, where he has the obvious, you know, Thanos gear with the Infinity Gauntlet style boot on the right there. And we did get a basic of this figure already, so that is pretty epic right there. But anyways, I think this line is excellent. So, you know, we really don't know what the hell's next for the line as far as our next voting sequence or, you know, whatever our list is going to be. Um, I actually saw where a bunch of people replying to this tweet, not only this tweet, but WWE's tweet where they actually put up the poll. Um, a lot of people were like, can we vote on the superstar instead of the attire because they're sick of getting Seth Rollins figures. And, you know, I hate that. I hate that people are upset. But I understand not everybody's a fan of Seth Rollins. Not everybody wants 100 figures of Seth Rollins. Not everybody's MDT over here with like 80 Rollins on his shelf. So I can understand it. You know, you want new guys. You want different guys, which I can completely understand no no biggies there I totally understand that but for me personally I would have selected the Thanos attire and I did select the Thanos attire I actually think I voted on two different you know two different devices because I really want the Thanos attire. Now, a lot of people were saying that they wanted to see the Chicago Bulls gear or the WrestleMania 35 gear. And the only reason I'm saying I want the Thanos gear is because the basic didn't really live up to par. You know, I feel like an elite would do that figure much better. And I think that they would actually put a lot more effort into it, like the details and stuff like that. I think the color palette would be a lot better other than that basic that we got. And the basic wasn't terrible. It's just the colors weren't completely accurate and it was a bit off. So I think an elite figure would look much better. I've actually done a render of this figure before, and I'll put that on the screen for you guys so you guys can kind of see uh, what this figure would look like if we were to get it in Mattel Elite figure form. And I'll also show you what the other two would look like as well. Maybe I can bring up all three on the screen at the same time. We'll see about that. But uh, this is an epic line. I think this is excellent. It's going to be called the WWE Fan Takeover Elite line. Now, what's actually insane is that it doesn't come out till 2021, so I don't know if this is going to replace the Top Talents line. I don't know if they're thinking this is the new top talents, except we get to pick the, the the gear that the guys wear. I'm not exactly sure, but this is kind of a ways away. You know, 2021, I feel like 2020 just started. I know we're in March, but uh, the, we still got a long ways away until 2021. So it'll be a pretty good long while. And by 2021, like, are we going to want a 2018 gear, 2019 gear? I mean, that's two or three years old. So I guess we're just going to have to see about that. But the last time I checked this thing, the I think the WrestleMania, 35 gear was leading by like 15 20 percent which totally blew my mind i think it was like 57 percent of people were voting for the wrestlemania 35 and then it was the thanos gear i think second at like 27 percent or, or 32 percent or something like that and then third place was the the survivor series 2019 it was something like that i could be wrong it may have been like 37 to 27 to 20 something i i don't freaking know i can't remember exactly and it was on somebody's instagram story and then i lost it and i i, I don't know what the hell happened to it i tried to find it couldn't find it F it. I even tried to go re-vote just to see if it would give me the results. It wouldn't even give me the results even though I saw a screenshot of the results. Um, I don't know if it was finalized, but I know WWE tweeted it out 
and Mattel uh, employees at Mattel tweeted this out. This is obviously from Action Figure Attack. Huge shout out to him. But this is this is pretty epic, you know. I, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I don't know why you wouldn't want the Thanos gear. I personally like the Thanos gear over all three of these. You know, we've seen the cash in Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins. That's pretty much what the the WrestleMania 35 looks like. I are, the reason I actually voted the Thanos attire again is that uh, I've, I already have a custom of both the Survivor Series 2019 and the WrestleMania 35, and I really they're high-quality customs that look great, so I really don't want to have to replace those. I have had to replace my uh, Royal Rumble 2018 gear, and I've had to replace my Royal Rumble 2019 gear. The only figure that I really do not have of Rollins in a really good custom is the Thanos gear, and then uh, the Wolverine gear, which we're getting in the Top Talents line. You guys remember the other day we did cover that we're getting the Top Talents elites uh, for Seth Rollins. It's, it's Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, and Rick Ricochet in that line for the Top Talents Elites, and we covered the Ricochet and the Braun Strowman, and on the back of the packaging, we see that we are getting the Wolverine attire for Seth Rollins, so since we're getting that attire, and then um, the, the only other gear I don't think we have is the, the All Black, obviously, that we've seen, uh, that we saw a few months ago, and then that he wore at SummerSlam 2019, and then the other gear is the Avengers gear, you know, the, the quantum suit that he wore a little, I think it was like summer 2019, so that is, uh, that is the only gears that we don't have, so, uh, again, I have another custom of the Thanos attire, but it's not very good, I mean, I made it in like a day, and it's really sloppy, I'd like to replace it with an official Mattel figure, so that is another reason why, and, uh, I figured that would be the best gear, and I, I think a lot of people agree with me, it, ringside, Collectibles actually posted up this post where they talked about this new fan takeover elite line, you know, where the fans vote on it. And everybody in the comments, I'm talking everyone in the comment section was saying Thanos gear, Thanos gear, Thanos gear. I think I have the top comment on the post. It's got like 50 likes and I said Thanos gear. And then I think MBG and Stage Creator were both on there talking about the Thanos attire and they had multiple likes as well. So it seems like the Thanos attire is what everybody really wants, but the poll results don't say that. So hopefully I'm going to try and put plug the poll down in the in the description below or a pinned comment so go check that out hopefully it's still up so you guys can still vote on it um, so you guys can go over there and vote whichever one you want. I personally would want the Thanos attire. I understand if you don't want it, you know, it's all good. But I personally would want the Thanos attire. So whatever you guys think, I'm going to let you guys decide that for yourselves. You can just go click on that or whatever. Um, these customs that I have plugged throughout the video are all by Mac decals except for the Thanos. That was sort of um, some of his you know of his images of his customs are featured throughout the figure in the uh, in the little render image right there but that is just a little render that I threw together a long time ago saying you know uh, this is what we want we want the Thanos elite for Seth Rollins and then uh, it got a ton of feedback it got a ton of positive feedback on Instagram so hopefully that is the attire that we end up getting I love that attire man I think it's freaking excellent and then uh, you could do a cool fix up where you replace the right kick pad and the right knee with uh, full black and it'll be the, similar to the attire he wore shortly after that, which wasn't the Thanos. It's the Thanos gear, but it's dual black kick pads. I think he wore it against Dolph Ziggler in a tag team match. It was like Ziggler and McIntyre versus uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins before Dean Ambrose left the company. So that's a cool fix-up you could do right there. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for this line, man. I think it's pretty cool. Again, it's called the WWE Fan Takeover Elite line. Again, I don't know if it's going to be the future top talents. I don't know if it's supposed to be another fan central type deal. I know in the past they've done this but they didn't make it such a big deal like I think they've asked this on like little surveys beforehand I want to say like I remember I think we voted on like a Mark Henry figure and then we voted on a Big Show figure before like which you know series or attire that we want from Big Show or Mark Henry I think I want to say that I remember that faintly so I mean I guess if I'm having a memory of it it serves me correctly but I guess we will not know exactly what the future holds for this line. So I don't know what the rest of the figures in the wave are. They didn't post up any other figures. It was just this Seth Rollins. But I did want to get on here and explain it to you guys and let you guys know that you can go vote on that. I don't know when the voting ends. It could be over already, but hopefully it's not. So you guys can get over there and 
cast your vote yourselves. Um, I think you can do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop, your computer, your, your tablet, whatever. Just click the link in the description if the poll is still up. I'll try my best again to see if it's there. But all you got to do is click that poll, you vote on it, and then it may or may not give you the results. It didn't give the results to me because I guess I'm not special. So uh, I don't know. It may give you guys the results. But WrestleMania 35, Chicago Survivor Series 2019, and then the Thanos SummerSlam 2018 gear, which is personally my favorite. I think it looks sick, nasty articles and one more quick thing before we get out of here guys i do want to plug in this article that is over on wwe.com it says vote now which version of seth rollins will mattel include in its elite fan takeover line you got seth rollins never misses an opportunity to capture the attention of the wwe universe and his many looks have been replicated by mattel action figures over the years but which elite collection rendition of the monday night messiah should the master toy makers at mattel make next that's where you come in check out the looks above and decide which version of the beast slayer will be part of the mattel elite collection fan take over line and keep checking back with wwe.com and wwe social media channels for more opportunities to shape the future of wwe action figure collecting courtesy of the wwe elite squad so i guess they are going to be posting on multiples and anytime we get you know one of these i will definitely put uh you know i will put it up in there for you guys and show you case you know the options and let you guys you know make sure you guys are aware because again you don't have to have a computer to vote i think you can just do it on your smartphone you just click the link in the description it should pull it right up and you guys should be able to vote on it but pretty cool line man i think it's pretty epic to see that you know we the fans get to vote on it the power's in our hands and i think that's pretty epic but if you guys care about those attires or you want specifically one of those attires in your collection definitely go over there and vote but thank you guys for watching that is going to do it for today's video i'm about to pass the hell out holy shit i'm about to fade for just i'm fading to sleep right now just trying to make the rest of this video but that does it guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy comment down below which one you would personally like to see subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you